Greetings, mortals. I am the fallen shogun, and the great city still grows. Obviously, there's still a few minor things I need to change, but the city is otherwise growing. The actual central area coming through the gateway outside of the uh, village is looking good. The village, of course, has the big tailors, it has the dormitory, it has a little bit of janitory going on. I need to expand it a little bit more, a little bit more storage and so on, but the village is quite good. And there's, like I say, a couple more things I need to add, otherwise it's going along. We have lots of uh, big, massive pastures. We obviously have wood cutting, I like another one of those. We have a lot of farms. The village is great. And then, of course, you go through the main gate. The main gate, you originally have a tavern, and there's obviously a storage area, a place to eat, flat house. Actually, I didn't build a storage area and a stage. So you go and you immediately hit the uh, merchant's quarters. And the innkeeper's area. So basically the merchant's and the traveller's area. The merchant's area still needs to be completed. The traveller's area is massively ongoing. So as you get through, you head to the big, massive area for sleeping and eating. This is obviously the traveller's quarters. We have a flat house, we have a flat house here. Canteen. Lavatory. We also, of course, have another flat house over here, which then feeds into a bathhouse. And obviously a dormitory for the uh, poorer of mind. Now, I want to keep on going like that. I want to make it a bit more of a maze. Like, this has to be a real industrial area. There's a few segments, obviously, I've been using to, like, copy-paste. But I'm not really... Not a bit too big, I think, for what I need to do. A bit too big. Outside of that, you go down the road, you start hitting where the throne used to be. The throne has, of course, moved to the palace, palace the Imperial Palace. Not the palace. And outside that, we should do a few more things. And this, I quite like this build over here. We're going to actually be using a few more of these. This right now is the entirety of my metal. This is making my tools. And I have massively put tools into it, so I'm making 23 tools per time. Well, 4.6, so you can see a lot of tools, and this is making us weapons, and that based around a central warehouse-like area. We're going to have a few more of these spread around. So this entire area here is currently temporary, as you can see it's a massive, massive temporary area. But if you ignore that, and you go down this main road here, which obviously has a building in the way, you hit the docks. Right now the docks are still ongoing, we only have a couple of export areas. And going further along, obviously you've got a defensive wall, we've got the guard post, you end up with the actual proper dockland area. Now obviously you've got food places, lavatories, some halves, dormitories, flat houses. We also have an arena right next to the dungeon. The dungeon is of course our prison, and the arena is where those condemned get to fight to the death for our amusement. There are bigger arenas, but we don't yet have access to them. Obviously further down we have the big warehouses and so on as you'd find. Now I can't really turn this to wood or stone, which is sad, but and even if I actually did do stone all the way to the edge, you still get a bit of grass, so we have to deal with the grass. Over on this side we have the Gothini Hatchery. I didn't know really what to do with this. I because there isn't really prostitution or anything in the game, so you can't really have, you know, sailors coming back home and sleeping. So technically the hatchery is meant to be where the sailors come back, but obviously it's just where children are born. That's all I honestly can really do with it, I'm sad to say. Outside of that, if you follow along this wall here and across this path, you end up with the corner fortress. The corner fortress is currently technically offline. Actually, I'm going to turn this back on. But it's a small border guard fort where we have a lot of troops um, training. We have obviously food supplies for them, and we have this is where our weaponry and armor is currently stored. Basic small fort. We can't actually have troops on the wall. We need to at least be three thick to have a one-man defensive line. But if you go through this and travel down, you end up at the fishing village. This is another village, another guard post. And this is where our fishing area mainly is. I need to keep on expanding, it's currently got three, we need to add on a few more. But this is where the majority of our empire's fish currently comes from. Nothing really major here, like a bit of a to sleep, some food, storage, big warehouse of course. And that's basically it, a little bit more stuff I could put in. But this area here is our primary fishing area. Now if we go back up the road, travel along it over here, Again, this is built into it. And then we carry on going this way, through this road, if you ignore oh, this big massive 
uh, pasture and go down here, you end up at the Imperial Palace. The Imperial Palace, because a few statues, a little bit defensive wall, nothing major. And of course, a big, massive training barracks. This is where the Imperial Guard trains. Obviously, it's where their equipment and so on is as well. But janitors, and then you've got the Imperial Palace itself. The administrative centre is right next to the throne. This is where the entirety of what goes on in our empire is built upon. Administration allows us to upgrade our empire as a whole. Have we got the other wing yet? I'm not quite sure what to do. Obviously, this is where the administrators sleep. This is where the Imperial Justice is given out. Two massive statues going through the roof. But yes, this is currently everything we have. Now, I don't know what else to do. There's a few more things I'd like to do. But right now, as you can see, this is the entirety of our empire. This is, um, well, this is the uh, university still being over here. This is the university piece. Let's move them over here. We're going to do something with them later. Got a bit of mining stuff going on. But yeah, this is the empire as we speak. This is the imperial capital. I'd like to, of course, grow this. I'd like to expand this. But right now, it is all we have. Big things to improve upon are more resources coming from here. We actually need meat. Meat's important for the Garthemi. So it's used to birth their young. They are a meat-eating race. They're okay with fish. They prefer meat. Obviously, every time, every year or so, we get another 24 of them being born. I could have a much bigger spawning ground, and maybe I will. Maybe there'll be a spawning village somewhere. But right now, that is a future idea. And not one we have to do. Now, outside of that, if you actually uh, push out, you can see how much of the actual area we're currently covering. This area here is the village. This area here is the traveller's quarters. This is the dockland, the fishland, and obviously the palace. This entire area here can be removed. So we don't actually, if you actually look at it, have much at all going on. In fact, nearly everything here is basically useless. Like, this doesn't need to be here. This entire area here is basically empty. This area here doesn't even exist. There's a lot of space for a lot of buildings. So this is mostly just discussing what we need to do. This area here needs to be pushed out. The uh, Probably this bottom area here turned into, I think, another woodcutting area. Obviously, we could have some more farmland going out over to here. And I think that would be pretty good. This village will be done very, very soon. We obviously have a few... Mining areas, mining over here, mining over here, not too major. There are obviously a few red areas being shown here, that's mainly for clay, but we don't really care. If you look at our money, we're at 300k. Most of our money right now is coming from weapons exports. Over, let's have a look, where is it? Here, weapons exports, 155 per weapon. We're importing coal and ore. We don't really get enough, so I'm importing coal and ore. And it's about 270 gold per... Let's see. Yeah, 270 gold to make the metal bars, give or take. And then we use... Let's see. Uh, 30, 60, 90. 270. 540. 540. Oof. God, it's only just close, isn't it? But we're still making a lot of money. We're making an awful lot of money. Just. Just. Tool consumption is insane. But we're making it. And saying the numbers out loud, I think we're only just making it. Yeah, how much is it for metal bar again? Oh my God, is that, are we actually making a loss? We're making nine, me nine and a half metal bars for each of these. So let's see. These are 60, that's 180 there, 180 there, 210, 240, 270. It's 500, let's see. So it's two, so it's 540. No, no 270 per 9.5. Yeah, we're making money. 270 per 9.5, we're making a lot of money. That's nine metal bars. Okay, good, we actually are making money. I just can't count or know anything smart. I am the dumb. Our biggest goal, apart from expanding, will be to get our military up and running. Right now, our military, it's doing okay. It needs more equipment, needs more resources. We are getting there. We have massive groups of 70 now. It's mainly Garthemi troops right now. We haven't yet expanded to the humans or the Dondorians. Dondorians, of course, are better for industry. Humans are better for farming and... Um, 
farming and knowledge. But obviously we want the Garthemi to be priority. But the Garthemi are at such a high level of number that... See this days at the bottom? It says 0 0.31. 0 0.31 per person. For these guys, it's extremely quick. I get 35, they get upset. I get another one in 0 0.11, which is a lot faster. So the Garthemi right now, they're not immigrating. They're not immigrating at all. We need to start working on growth. So uh, more hatcheries are probably needed, but that's, like I say, a future thing. This is just here for um, aesthetics. I'm really not sure I'm a fan of it because these holes open and close. And it gives me a little bit of the heebie-jeebies. The heebie-jeebies are badibies. Anyway, outside of that, what else we got? What else we got? Not really much. This area here is going on. This area here needs to be expanded. And that's fine. Now, outside of that, what have we got going on in the main area? I would like for us to take... Uh, Barcelona. It only has 14 people. Now, one thing I have noted is, unless you're fighting troops, if your troops are directly attacking their troops, you don't get to see a battle. If I attack their city, I don't see it. It is a shame. It is a shame. Now, I could prepare. Here's the admin points. 141 allocated, 90 admin penalty. You have a lot going on. We have 333. Three, three. I made priority preference to the population here that's going up but it doesn't really help us right now but yeah i'd love to take out boston and Karen growing but i need to get our military for that for our military we actually need to get stockpiles we also need to start making food we don't have food being made we need an army supply depot in fact we're just going to do a temporary one we'll put it in a temporary village just here now, else, uh, we need supplies, which means we need what they're called. The problem is finding them. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Food. We need something which can make rations. Now, right now, we're not really making rations, so I might just import rations. Yeah, I might just get an importing of rations. Why the hell not? And that will give us our military force. So we can actually start doing major attacks. And with major attacks come great responsibility. Once we start growing, people will take us seriously or else. Should they? Mm. Will they? Definitely. Now we have, like I say, hundreds of soldiers. Not enough for useful things because, you know, equipment isn't fully there. Our training is still getting there. But we do have stuff on going. Will it be enough? Honestly, I don't know. Honestly, I do not know. I have never done military combat within this game. And that might be a big issue. Without doing military combat in this game, I genuinely do not know if what we're going to do is going to be smart or a problem. Also, how much are rations? 24. Hmm. Let's start spending a fair bit of money. But... Yeah, with rations and so on. At the very least, we can actually start doing something good. Good. And that should hopefully be good. I say hopefully be good, I don't know. We could be literally walking into a battlefield we will never win. But, I'm hopeful. With that being said, this is mostly me telling you my plans. And now we're going to actually start getting a military. So where are we here? How do I even make a military? Inbound. Eh, some resources. Regions. 78 regions. Oh, look at that. I've got quite a big population actually looking at some of these. It might be the biggest, but we're definitely not the smallest. Oh, huh. alright. Armies. Okay, recruit an army. I've already lost where we are. Here. Okay, good. I don't actually want to recruit troops. I want to see mercenaries. Do I? Do I not? No, no. Do not know. Okay, good. You're active. So if I'm correct, what you do is... 
Send out his division. Yeah, he sent out his division. Not enough supplies. Fill up your army supply depots. Yeah, I'd like to. There we go. Oh, look at this. It needs beer, supplies, clothing. Oh, well, you actually do need a lot, don't you? Beer, supplies, and clothing. Oof. That's going to be an issue. That's going to be a big issue. So for war, we're going to have to really start stocking up. Which means I actually do need a massive army supply depot. A massive army supply depot. Because we need these things. Oof. Alright. Give it time, we'll get this done. Inbound of 768 already. Made it all good, did I eat it all? Oh no, it's only the eight they originally had. So to send an army... Beer, clothing, food. Beer, clothing, food. Okay, done. Simples. Absolutely simples. The very next one, we're going to start invading. We're going to start invading and we'll deal with that. And hopefully, something good will happen. Otherwise, we'll have to see what the heck is going to go on. You know, clothing. You can be turned off. We need, a, we need a storage depot, so we need an actual proper military very soon. I think you also need beer imports. So now I need another importer for beer. Ah, it just keeps going and going and going. And the price on our money keeps going and going and going too. But there we are. Every little thing is going to be alright. Oh, here comes the supplies. And there we go. Beer and clothing. Beer and clothing is going to be a problem. Now, I apologise not much has gone on. If you need to skip this, I understand completely. I wanted to show what's going on. I want to show you what's happening. The very next stage will be... Wait, I've got no storage for this. Have I really not? I really do not know. Look at that. That's part storage. Interesting. We turn this down a little bit, then turn up beer. beer, 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 and there we go. Oh, I actually do have beer storage somewhere. Who knows? Anyway, the next stage is I'm expanding this. This will be expanded significantly up to here. We still need a warehouse district. That's actually a big one. Actually, a pretty big one. We need warehouse, we need storage, we need industry, we need all of that going on, but I don't want to have it too close to where people live. So that will be going on next, that would be great. So this area here will be expanded, probably another montage. This area here needs to be steadily destroyed, this area here should not exist anymore. But this stuff, I kind of like this, I like how small and nice they are. So I'm going to look at building several of these and start really pushing it. Really, really pushing it. Although this may need to be smaller. I don't think it needs to be this big. But if I do it anymore, yeah, um, I could probably make it a lot smaller. I don't think I need it as big as this. There's a lot of supplies and resources for what it's doing. Which is a bit of a shame, but whatevers. Whatevers in deedly doodlies. Now, side of that, I want to make sure these walkways and things can't be used. You can see whether using pathing without pathing. I've been using a lot of fences. I'm not really a big fan of how it makes the game look, because the world looks a bit odd. But I'm going to have to start using a few more fences. Because the big issue we have is they keep going across the water. And obviously, they can't cross the deep end, but they do keep crossing the water. So you'll see random fence areas here and there, just to stop them doing it. But otherwise... We're getting there. The city is coming along. War is going to be coming very soon. We're going to try and invade the local place with my actual military. And outside of that, I think we're ready to go. Either way, I've been the Fallen Shogun. Ooh. I think it's time to send out this group. And this group. 140 men have left the city. Have they? Yeah, there they go. 
and before you men have left the city, the war will be next. Let's get this party started.